now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And the Pinpoint weather team has been tracking that particular moisture very closely, not showing any signs of coming up the coastline. So we'll stay dry. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Uh, nothing to be found as far as storminess and raindrops. Uh, clouds are breaking up a little bit, so some splashes of sunshine uh, coming through the cloud cover right now. You take a look at live pictures. Hello, Fall River with clouds and a little hazy sun sneaking through right now. Temperatures are in the lower 60s and a real pretty shot from Providence right now. You can see the, both the blue skies uh, and the gray clouds as well. So this is a, a sign of the clearing trend that's starting right now that will continue this evening and right into the overnight hours. 61 on a north-northeast wind at 15. Humidity now coming in at 67%. Oakland Beach and Warwick, clouds and a little sunshine. Temperature at 62. Most areas now are in the upper 50s to low 60s. We are setting up for a very cool night. A lot of us will get down to about 40, 45. So the furnace later tonight will kick on, even though it's relatively uh, mild right now in the 60s. We'll widen out the view satellite and radar composite showing clouds offshore that were carried in on the northeast breezes. Meanwhile, Joaquin continues to be about 500 miles uh, to the south and east. Where is it? Nantucket. Right here, Category 1 storm, winds of 86 miles per hour. So in this position, still close enough to be kicking up the surf next roughly 12 to 18 hours. That moisture continues across the southeast, so Joaquin will continue to pull away. Uh, no surprise how it kicks up these huge waves, of course, especially where the center of the storm is located. And our computer forecast models that predict wave height showing these massive waves near the center of the storm. And notice that maximum, that wave maximum continues to pull away. So our wave heights along the New England coastline will be decreasing over the next uh, 24 hours, but still a very high risk of rip currents this evening and a moderate risk of rip currents tomorrow as the Joaquin, what's left of it, races up into the uh, North Atlantic. Future cast will start off this evening and watch the clock right here, 7 o'clock, showing the clouds breaking apart, the numbers going down. In the mid, low and mid 40s by around 6 o'clock tomorrow morning with sunshine. Sunshine gets to work. It's actually a milder day. Upper 60s. In fact, it's a beautiful day tomorrow. Very comfortable. Right on through uh, late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Temperatures will settle back into the uh, lower 60s. So gradual clearing this evening. 11 o'clock, 51, 40s overnight. You're going to start with a jacket or, or a warm sweater tomorrow morning. By 11 a.m., it's already in the upper 60s. And looking at upper 60s tomorrow afternoon with sunshine, a milder day and just beautiful seven day future cast uh, going uh, even warmer on Wednesday up to 70 Thursday is nice chance of showers on Friday nothing significant then clearing out cooling off of the weekend both Saturday and Sunday of course big weekend coming up uh, daytime highs in the 60s and nights in the 40s and the 50s beautiful weather next couple of days WPRI.com the time of year where it can be pretty chilly early in the morning and then warm up nicely by two o'clock in the afternoon so enjoy yeah definitely can't forget those jackets for uh, late at night too because it cools off real quick yeah come five six o'clock in the morning kind of see your breath yeah all right Tony thanks <laughs>